Hi, I'm Nick from Fouchmatic Off Grid. Here we are. We're uh, on roughly week two of working on siding and trim and soffit and all of that exterior stuff that we blew right past in order to move in last winter. So these are a bunch of fence boards that I had taken out of a uh, somebody's backyard um, and I had hoped that they'd be my soffit material when I had a little more eclectic uh, design going on with reclaimed materials. Now that we're using new, I'm going to try and clean them up with the planer. He's kind of making a tent. Yeah. Oh. I need a place to set up some tools. Oh. Uh, I just need a little shelter because I'm going to run the planer for a while. And that's not a great outside tool. So a little bit of cover from the rain and I'll be able to keep going. Soffit is the the space under the uh, in the eaves. So the overhang of the roof, uh, the soffit is that surface underneath that faces the ground. Um, a lot of houses um, have the soffit vented because that's where air can come in and circulate up and vent out of the of vents on the top. But we're doing an unvented cathedral ceiling. So we're just depending on um, the the closed cell foam uh, to to keep us from having a condensation problem inside. And uh, since that little space actually goes over the top of our interior of our wall, I need to insulate that so that the top of our wall is is insulated as well. So it does look a little weird to be insulating the the soffit in the way that we are without a vent, but that is, um, that's the way we do it for an unvented cathedral ceiling. When we were putting the, the frame up and putting the roof on and all of that, I was reminded that I had borrowed a ladder uh, for a lot of that work. So I don't have that ladder anymore. And getting up to uh, 18 feet up there um, is a little challenging for me. So I've put a thing on the truck and got the truck right up close and my little extension ladder can work across, you know, both sides of that window and um, uh, feels pretty good. You may notice this smaller house shape on our house. It's a little weird looking. 
But that's where the mud room is going to go. We're going to build out five feet away from the front door there and have this enclosed area for getting your shoes off, getting your coat off, and a little air lock so that not all of our warm air goes right out the front door anytime somebody comes in and out. Um, but I had just finished the, uh, the soffit and the fascia board up there, which I was really happy with. And it was just me and Milo at home that day. And um, he had gone inside. I said, hey, Milo, I've, I finished up the front of the house. He said, oh, okay. And he came out and looked. And he saw a bunch of Lowe's house wraps still and said, uh, finished? And he's, he's right. I'm not done. We've been interrupted by plenty of things. Uh, weather. We had uh, like three inches of snow uh, yesterday. And what was that? Middle of April. Of course, you got to take out time for things like, um, you know, meals and being with family and going on Easter egg hunts and stuff like that. Oh, look, there's a frog! <laughs> Froggy! We went for an Easter egg hunt today and I found the golden egg. But we're still going slow but sure. Uh, that's kind of the way we do it. We know another homesteader, alumna of Lumna Acres, who said to me, we overestimate what we can do in one year, but we underestimate what we can do in five to 10 years. And that is really the lesson that Nick and I have learned here on the Mountain Dream Home. It, it's not as fast as snapping your fingers, but it, it's cumulative. You just take a kind of a tortoise pace, a steady pace, and, and then you look back a few years later and see, so much has gotten done. It's very satisfying. I'm happy with the result. If I were going super fast and I hated it, that wouldn't be better. So this is fine. So you are building the mudroom when you get back from your trip, right? Yes. So what, what steps will that entail? Um, building the mudroom, uh, it's actually going to start with cutting down a couple of trees. Um, we There will be a, a timber frame bent uh, out front. Uh, it'll be essentially like a lean-to. Um, so there will be a frame out front, and then, uh, of course, I'm going to need all the rafters, and I'm going to stick frame the walls just like the, the house. So I need all that lumber. So I'm going to cut down a couple of trees, make some posts and beams, make a bunch of two-by material out of the rest, and um, then I will get to work. And maybe this time I will actually get to um, cutting down and... Uh, milling and timber framing all in a season like you're supposed to. So it has felt kind of slow. We've been stopped by weather a little bit and um, and it's really just with siding and especially like the soffit and working around that window and uh, all of that. It's piece by piece by piece so um, and it's just kind of slow being a, a one-man crew. I don't have a, a cut guy down at the saw that I can holler at. So, um, but that's the way we're choosing to do it, and uh, I'm happy about it. I know that every little cut, um, the good ones and the bad ones, are are mine, and um, 
I can look at it and be pretty happy about that. I'm Nick from Fouchomatic Off Grid. Thanks for watching.